Abbott made that announcement today, along with a lot of other changes for Texans. 12 News reporter Victoria Dillion is here to break down everything you need to know about getting the Lone Star State back up and running. It's important to remember that reopening the state will happen in phases. Friday marks only the first set of businesses that can begin to reopen. But Governor Abbott says it's not a requirement. Restaurants are on that list, but the manager here at Daddio's tells me they're not planning to reopen this week. Well, because of your efforts, the COVID-19 infection rate has been on the decline over the past 17 days. Phase one of reopening Texas is in full swing. Monday afternoon, Governor Abbott announced the first wave of businesses that can begin to reopen Friday. That includes retail stores, movie theaters, malls, and restaurants. But we're not out of the woods just yet. There will be some restrictions. Uh, minimize the spread of COVID-19 during phase one. On the advice of doctors, I am limiting occupancy to no more than 25%. For small restaurants like Daddio's, that occupancy limit didn't seem worth it to manager Charlie Jones. There'd only be three tables. Uh, that's just too much risk for not much, not enough reward for us. Governor Abbott says if all goes well during phase one, phase two will allow more businesses to open up. We need to see two weeks of data to confirm no flare up of COVID-19. During phase two, retail stores and restaurants may be able to increase their occupancy to 50%. Jones says he'd rather wait until then to reopen the dining room. By not opening, we're protecting our staff and everyone else, so we're, we're going to stick with what we're doing right now. State leaders agree it's all about taking things one step at a time. And if we follow this roadmap, Texas will be back to being Texas. Governor Abbott says businesses announced during phase two may begin to reopen as soon as May 18th. As we start to get back to normal, he's asking Texans to practice social distancing now more than ever. In Beaumont, Victoria DeLeon, 12 News.